Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, three squares of different dimensions uh, fully inscribed in a big uh, triangle ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, vertical segment uh, MP is uh, three units, whereas uh, this segment uh, KL is four units. And moreover, uh, this horizontal uh, segment uh, DG is 11 units as well. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, yellow triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, big yellow triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times the base times the height of the triangle. And here we can see that this uh, BC is the base uh, of this uh, triangle. And this uh, is uh, the height. And now our task is uh, to calculate the base uh, and the height uh, before we could calculate the area of this triangle. And now let's focus uh, on uh, these three squares. And here I have replicated uh, these uh, squares uh, over here as well to make our job simple. And moreover, I have replicated uh, this uh, big uh, square uh, over here uh, and here as well. And let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, segment length uh, is uh, 11 units. And since we are dealing with all these uh, squares, if this segment uh, is uh, three units, uh, then this uh, remaining segment uh, has got to be three units as well. And likewise, uh, if this segment uh, is uh, four units, uh, then uh, this segment has got to be four units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, base uh, length is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, three individual lengths and if we add all these uh, three numbers that is going to give us uh, 18 units and we can see that this uh, length 18 is uh, for these uh, three identical uh, big uh, squares so therefore if we divide uh, this number by three that is going to give us six uh, units so therefore we conclude uh, the side length uh, of uh, this uh, big square is going to be six uh, units then all of its uh, side lengths are going to be six uh, units uh, each uh, as you can see over here and now let's make an observation we can see that this segment is uh, three units so therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment is going to be six minus three is going to give us uh, three units as well so therefore uh, for this uh, square if this side length is three then this side length has got to be three three and three as well and likewise let's focus on this uh, segment length which is uh, four and this whole length is six so therefore uh, this uh, remaining length is going to be six minus four is going to give us uh, two units so therefore uh, the side length of this uh, smallest uh, square is uh, 2 so therefore this side length is going to be 2 and 2 across the board so therefore we conclude uh, that the side length of this uh, square is going to be 3 across the board and for this uh, largest uh, square the side length is going to be 6 uh, across the board as well and finally for this uh, smallest square this side length uh, is uh, 2, 2, 2, and 2 across the board as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two right triangles, uh, BDN and NPM. Since uh, these are our uh, right uh, angles, and we can see if this angle is uh, alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well, since they are our uh, corresponding angles. And likewise, uh, if this angle is uh, beta, then this angle has got to be beta as well, since they are our corresponding angles as well. So therefore, we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, BDN and this other right triangle, uh, 
and p m are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem and since uh, these two triangles are congruent so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, b d is going to be equal to this segment uh, n p if this is three then this uh, segment b d is going to be three units as well and now we are going to focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, c g h and this uh, triangle uh, h k l as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this angle uh, is congruent to this uh, angle because they are our corresponding uh, angles and likewise uh, this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this angle they are corresponding angles as well and these are our uh, 90 degree angles so therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles uh, triangle c g h and this other right triangle uh, h k l are our uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and now let's focus on this uh, triangle we can see their ratio is uh, 4 uh, to 2 so therefore for this uh, triangle uh, c g h if this uh, side is uh, 2 then this uh, tiny segment uh, gc is going to be one unit so that's how this uh, tiny segment uh, gc turns out to be one unit and now let's make an observation we can see the total uh, length uh, this uh, bc is going to be the sum of these uh, three individual lengths uh, 3 11 and uh, 1 if we add these uh, three lengths uh, that is going to give us uh, 15 units so that's our base of this triangle the bc length turns out to be 15 units and now our task is to calculate the height of this triangle as well and here i have dropped this perpendicular 80 on this base of the triangle and now let's make an observation we can see that this vertical qt length is same as this side length of this uh, largest square so this uh, qt length uh, is going to be six units and now our only task is uh, to calculate uh, this vertical length uh, aq so we are going to calculate uh, this aq length and now we are going to focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, npm and this other right triangle uh, mqa we can see that these uh, angles are our right uh, triangles if this uh, angle uh, is uh, alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well since they are our corresponding angles and likewise uh, if this angle is beta then uh, this angle has got to be beta as well they are corresponding angles as well so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles uh, npm and the other right triangle mqa are our uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and here for this uh, triangle uh, npm the ratio of these two sides are uh, three and three so therefore for this uh, triangle uh, mqa the ratio of these uh, two sides is going to be three times some constant uh, k and likewise uh, three times some constant uh, k as well and finally let's focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, hkl uh, and this other right triangle uh, lqa and once again we can see that these angles are our uh, 90 degree angles and this angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle since they are our corresponding angles likewise this angle is going to be congruent to this angle they are our corresponding angles as well so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles uh, triangle lqa and this other right triangle uh, hkl are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and here for uh, this uh, triangle our ratio is uh, 4 uh, to 2 so therefore uh, for this uh, triangle uh, lqa our ratio is going to be this side is going to be 2 times some constant k and this is going to be 4 times some constant k as well and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, aq length is on this side is uh, 3 times k and on this side is uh, 4 times k and the least common denominator for 3 and 4 is going to be 
12. So therefore, I'm going to multiply these uh, numbers uh, by 4. And these numbers on the right hand side, I'm going to multiply these numbers uh, by 3 and this number by 3 as well. So after the multiplication, this side turns out to be 12k and this one is 12k as well. They are now consistent. And likewise, uh, this segment is going to be 12k and this segment is uh, 6k. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, side uh, ML is going to be 12k plus 6k is going to give us uh, 18k. So therefore, our uh, ML segment length turns out to be 18 times k. And furthermore, uh, this ML represents the side length of this uh, largest square. So this uh, side length is uh, 6. So ML is going to be 6 as well. So therefore, if we compare these uh, two equations, so we can write uh, 18 times k equal to 6. And here we can see this 18 and 18 is gone. So therefore, our k value turns out to be 1 divided by 3. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, AQ length is uh, 12 times uh, K and our K value is uh, 1 divided by 3. So therefore, uh, our this segment uh, AQ length uh, is going to be 12 times our uh, K value is 1 divided by 3. And if we simplify, that is going to give us uh, 4 units. So thus our AQ length turns out to be 4 units. And here's our next step. We are going to calculate this uh, height uh, 80. We know this uh, QT length is 6 and this uh, AQ length is 4. 6 plus 4 is going to give us 10. So that's the height of this uh, triangle. The QT length uh, turns out to be 10 units as well. Here's our uh, final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big yellow triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base is 15 and the height uh, is uh, 10. So therefore, the area of this uh, big yellow triangle is going to be a half times uh, our uh, base is uh, 15 times the height uh, is uh, 10. And if we simplify and multiply the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 75 uh, square units. So that's the area of this uh, big uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 75 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.